centuries ago, three from the opposite young world were transported from their native land to my faraway world. Here they were granted astounding powers and eternal youth. Then they returned to work, their mission to watch over the human race, helping the good in it to survive and flourish. In the course of history, their names have become a legend. Hercules, empowered with the strength of a hundred men. Astria, able to assume any living form. Mercury, the amazing athlete who can match the speed of light. Working together with me, Sentinel-1, and my maintenance robot, Mo. These teenage guardians form the greatest team the world has ever known. The Space Sentinel. How many centuries have I been at this? No matter. It's time to bait another trap. Sooner or later, somewhere in this universe, I'm going to snare the unsettable. Maintenance operator. I'm coming. Don't blow it too. Okay. Watch, Watch the surprise. Malfunction has occurred. Hmm. Hmm. It's not serious. A 1024 dice for now. That's all. What's up, Mo? Oh, hi, hi Astria. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Astria. Evening status report, please, Sentinel-1. All sectors now. Detailed printout follows. Thanks, Mo. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Hi, gang. Mercury, <laughs> don't you ever yeah. slow down? Hey, I've been practicing some of your moves. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you need a little bit more practice, Mo. But after supper, okay? I'm fixing supper tonight. A health food supper. Hercules. What do I need with health food? <clears throat> I'm a perfect physical specimen. Hold this, will you, Merc? <laughs> Dinner is served. <laughs> Excuse the interrupt, but tracking unidentified object, possibly a meteorite, calculated to impact 27.43 kilometers due west. Is that area inhabited, Sentinel-1? Negative. Wow, some meteorite. Stand by to launch. Okay, Sentinel-1, hit it. Something's pulling us toward those mountains. And whatever it is, I can't slow it down. Sentinel alert. Your speed is excessive. Have lost visual contact. Do you read? Repeat. Do you read? We're okay. 
it's this meteorite that has the problem. It's exerting a tremendous pull on everything around it, including us. Confirmed. My sensors indicate the object is somehow magnifying gravity. Proceed with caution. At last, I found them. My first step in ruling the universe has finally been taken. What is that thing? You mean, what was that thing? We sure don't have much to work with. But maybe Sentinel One can help us come up with some answers. Let's go! your headquarters like good little sentinels. Perfect! Now I can zero in on what I'm really after, your Sentinel One computer. Analysis completed. Any idea where that gravity machine came from, S1? It is a story I had hoped never again to recall from my memory banks. But now I must. Several thousand years ago, on a distant planet like Earth, a young man named Morpheus was selected, just as you three later were, and put through the same training. However, after gaining the powers of lightning speed, super strength, and molecular change, he chose to use his powers for evil. And escaped into the universe, never to be heard from again, until now. You mean Morpheus created that phony meteorite? Affirmative. But why? That, I cannot answer. I can't believe it. One guy as powerful as all three of us put together? What bugs me the most is not knowing what he's up to. Not a very comforting thought to sleep on, is it, guys? An intruder. Intruder? Intruder gone. You may return to recharge. You may return to recharge. You may return to recharge. Sometimes this job drives me nuts. Maintenance operator. Better be good, Sentinel One. Monitoring strange readings from within ship, but unable to decipher. For someone who never makes mistakes, you sure are coming close. Hang on while I run a circuit check. Incredible. That little robot knows every inch of Sentinel One. This makes my task much easier. Sentinel alert. Hey! Put the beam down! Hey! Sentinel-1, what's happened? Mo captured. There he is. Don't let him take me! Mo! Thank <laughs> you. 
Listen, bird. You're making a big mistake. I'm no good to eat. My height's tough as iron. In fact, it is iron. See? So why don't you just turn around? Did you get a radar fix? Negative. Morpheus is flight path too low to track. Well, for sure he couldn't outrun us carrying a load like Mo. He must have set down on the water somewhere. Or under it. Yeah, that's it. If there's only one big problem, how do we check out the ocean bottom? That's no problem. When you're a porpoise, keep me covered. Everything is ready, my little friend. By reading your memory banks, I will soon be able to construct hundreds, even thousands of Sentinel-1 computers. <laughs> She's past 100 meters and still diving. the spitting image of your Sentinel-1. Maybe it looks like him, but there's no way it can think like him. That, my little friend, is where you're wrong. I'm inside Morpheus' ship. Good girl. Any sign of Mo? Not yet. Stand by while I take a look around. What are you ever get into this mess? I do my job. I mind my own business. Oh, oh, just a minute, Astria. And I wind up being stuck at the bottom of the... Hey, Astria! Come on, we have to find a way out of here. Fast! Morpheus? is clever and dangerous, and the computer he now possesses makes him infinitely more dangerous. Note, I have established radar lock on the area directly above his ship. Thus, we can monitor any movements while formulating further strategies. How do you think Morpheus will use that computer he built, S1? There are six possible explanations. Reason one. Two. Buckle my shoe. What did he say? I don't know. Now that we've had our little warm-up exercises, let's go to full power, shall we? Repeat. Step one. I have deduced that you must dot your I's and cross your T's. I think he's going bananas. Or is it? Dot your T's and 
across your eyes. <laughs> Mo, what's wrong with him? I don't know. There's some kind of outside energy force jamming his circuits. It's Morpheus. His plan is working. There are six possible explanations. S1's flipping out. And Morpheus is cutting out. Look! E! Slow down! Astria! He's overloading! I gotta shut him down! Mo, isn't there any other way? Either. I shut him down, or we lose him. Astria, Morpheus is getting away! Do what you can for him, Mo. I'll uh, try. Hug the water, and we'll be out of Morpheus' sensor range. shield across the entrance. We could sure use Sentinel-1 right now. Mo, how's it going? Terrible. S1, S1 needs, needs a major, major overhaul. And, and that's, that's gonna, gonna take, take time. time. Roger. We're on our own, guys. With Sentinel-1 permanently out of the way, the world is mine for the taking. And the universe will soon follow. Now for phase three of my plan. You sure this is going to work, Herc? Is a pig pork? Of course it'll work. Okay, everybody in. Oh. Somehow, we've got to get inside and shut down those computers. Herc, can you open this door? Hey, that's my department. Stand back, big guy, and watch a real pro at work. I'm in. Can you keep Morpheus distracted? No problem. Find that master switch. That's it. Mo, there's no way to shut down these computers without Sentinel One's help. What kind of shape is he in? We'll know in a second. Keep your fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Systems operational. All right! Request status update on Morpheus situation. S1, I've got big problems. There's no way to shut down Morpheus's computers. They're electrified. I wish you to speak with one of the computers. You what? I will instruct you on opening a communication circuit for me. I don't know what you said to these computers, S1, but it's working like a charm. What are you doing? It's all over, Morpheus. You're through. No, I've waited too long for this. What have you done to my computers? Shh! The Sentinel-1 computer has informed us 
of your plan to rule the universe. Such a plan is unworkable. To subject a space as vast and varied as the universe to one ruler is irrational and illogical. Being perfect thinkers, we cannot cooperate in such an imperfect plan. But I think you. You build us to be wiser than yourself. Therefore, we are taking command of the ship and transporting you to deep space where you can no longer harm others. No, the rock. far enough away from me. You can say that again, Merc. He couldn't fade far enough. Oh. Later, guys. It's been a long day. Yeah. I think I'll catch up on my uh, beauty sleep. Sleep? That'll take a coma. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure is nice. nice. Having, Having things back to normal again. again. Ah. Maintenance operator. No! Good night, maintenance operator. Ah, uh, uh, good night, Santa One. I miss you too.